team. So you've probably seen this gaffe before. I did it on America's Got Talent. Oh my God, oh my God, my voice is even deeper. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I've done this on the Today Show. <laughs> <laughs> this is called sulfur hexafluoride, the deep voice gas. But today, I'm gonna be showing you some other really cool things that this gas can do. So, let's get gassy. Okay, one of the first things that's really interesting about this gas is that it is five times more dense than air. So like helium, if it comes out of the container, it just goes up and out into the atmosphere. It actually rises. Sulfur hexafluoride, because it's so dense, it actually goes down, so it sinks. And I'm gonna show you guys that by blowing up a balloon and I'm gonna fill this tub with sulfur hexafluoride. All right, so that's just hot air in there. See it rising right there? Look at that, it's like magic. I'm not touching it, I'm not doing anything. Hands free, check that out. Someone's over flowing, look at that. Boom, it's like a magic trick. It's just right in the middle. I mean, it's literally floating right in the middle. Look at that, it's insane. So check this out. So you can see the sulfur hexafluoride is so dense that this little balloon that I, that I blew up, it's just kind of like sitting there on top. I mean, that's like, it's kind of, it's working as kind of like a little bobber, right? That's like telling us at the level of the sulfur hexafluoride that's just sitting in there. Now you might be saying, Nick Juhas, I don't believe you that there is sulfur hexafluoride in there. So I'm gonna show you. Check this out. Okay, there we go. Now that is some really deep voice. The reason my voice sounds like this is because sound moves differently in a dense gas. In a, in a solid, sound moves quicker. In a gas, sound moves slower. So as the gas is coming out of my mouth, my vocal cords are moving the same, the same speed, the same rate. But what you hear is the, is the actual the vibrations moving slower through the gas. And it's kind of wearing off a little bit because I'm breathing all that sulfur hexafluoride back out. So there we go. Sulfur hexafluoride is down in there. Sulfur hexafluoride, five times more dense than air. I can pour it right out of this cylinder, right into this container, and I can just suck it right out. So it's more dense, it'll float things like this balloon, and of course, it'll make your voice really deep. Another thing that sulfur hexafluoride can do is it can put out a fire. Now the reason it does that is because it's actually displacing the oxygen entirely. So I'm gonna show you guys this. Here's this little, little tea light. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and light that up and let that burn. Now I'm gonna just take a scoop of the sulfur hexafluoride right here. I wanna make sure that I don't get in there. I can kind of feel it. All right, so I just take a scoop. Right? I'm just gonna pour it on there. Here we go, you ready? Out. Boom! So here's my question. How well will the sulfur hexafluoride do at putting out a lot of candles? Well, right here we have 300 candles. So I'm gonna pour all of this onto all of the candles. We put these walls in here, as you guys can see these walls right here, so that the sulfur hexafluoride would kind of chill you know, because when we pour it, it's just going to be like, you know, it's like, it's going to pour down into here. You know, that's the idea at least. But the problem is that I think we actually use the rest of it. And so all we have is what's left in there, right? Right there. That's it. That's all we got. That's all that's left. Um, we're going to get these things lit, and then I'm going to show you guys in a little bit what it's like in full force. It'd be like if you were 300 years old. So like if you were Yoda, this is basically Yoda's birthday. That's what we're celebrating. And then we're going to put it out with, with science. So, um... Burn yourself? Do not. That's pretty good. Because <laughs> everything Star Wars. Because Star Wars is so awesome. That's why. So we're almost there, team. 
So, we're almost there. Did not know where to take this Did long. not consider to take this long. But we did find out that if you have like these little chopstick thingies, if you roll them in the wax, you can actually light very easily from one to the next. So that's pretty cool. We learned that at least. All right, team, there we go. That is 300 candles right there. 300 tea light candles. Nice job, babe. Nice job. Yeah, very zen. Mm. Oh, mm. That's literally it. That's all we got. That's the whole thing. All right, here we go. Test number one. It's the only test we got. We're gonna solve our explore right now. All right, here we go. We're ready. Just gonna pour it on there. Woo! Oh my God, that worked so perfectly! Funny. Did you guys see that? Like the row, it put them all out. It just poured out of here and poured them. I wonder if there's any left in there. There's not. That was incredible! That worked perfectly! Wow! That was great. And that used all of our sulfur hooks floor. That was it. A little tub like this put out 300 tea lights. Wow! That was awesome! That worked so well. So well! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what did we learn? Um, we learned that sulfur hexafluoride is a really dense gas. In fact, you can blow up a balloon and you can actually float that balloon on the sulfur hexafluoride like in this container. We also learned that sulfur hexafluoride is the deep voice gas. We kind of already knew that. Simon, I am your worst nightmare. <laughs> I breathe it in, it changes my voice, goes really deep. We also learned that sulfur hexafluoride can put out a flame, a fire. In fact, it can put out three hundred tea lights. I mean, that was pretty crazy. So what happened is, is that when I poured it, it kind of came as a wave and it poured and it kind of, it took them all out as we went down. It was kind of like in a way, it was kind of like the movie 300 where it was like 300 tea lights versus sulfur hexafluoride. And just like in the movie, all 300 all lost their tea little lives. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, did this impress you? We were like, wow, I didn't think Sulfur Explorer can put out flame like that. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so we have new videos every week, and I'll see you guys really soon.